So, all over TikTok, all over Instagram, anywhere, there's this. <laughs> We're gonna tint my brows. I bought ones from Ardell, I bought ones from Godfrey something, and I think out of the two, the Godfrey one lasted the longest, but both products are over like $10, or close to $15 between $20. And this was like, I think $10, I, I, I'll insert the price here. And everybody says it lasts a long time. So, we're gonna try it. And all you have to do is mix one part this and one part that. You mix it, you put it on, and that's it. And it like stains the skin really well, which is kind of like what I want. I'm a little like, hmm, that this is cheaper than what we have to buy to actually tint our brows. So, you know, I'm gonna go the affordable route. I'm gonna use, nope, not that. <laughs> I'm gonna use a brush to apply it. We'll just use this. This one's from Bare Minerals. I really don't use it for anything, so we're gonna do this one. So you have two things. You have the color developer and the color base. Let's just go for it. So I'm gonna open it. I have color dark brown, because my hair is dark brown. I'm gonna take this one. This is the color developer. Mix a small equal parts. Developer train to plus tube. Oh, okay, so you just mix and apply. So literally whatever everybody was doing online was correct. I'm gonna take the brush. Now, it doesn't look dark over here, but when I was looking at everybody doing it online, it didn't look dark and then it got dark. So, this is gonna be one of those trust the process things. Now, I'm putting it on this brush so I have better control. I'll zoom you guys in in the edits. So I'm gonna start off by applying here and then getting it on my tail. I'm gonna try to extend it just a little bit because what I want is for it to dye the hair and dry, dye the little skin that's there as well. So I'm gonna outline this and I'm gonna apply up. I don't have thick brows so I'm just hoping that this could save me at least a few moments of having to not fill in my brows all the time. I'm going to do the other side, and I think we're supposed to leave it on for like five minutes. I want to make sure that I get the front really good. I want to clean that part up. And I'm just going to take whatever's kind of left over and I'm just going to Jeez, now that I'm doing this, I can definitely <laughs> see where all my little bald spots are. Hey Bixby, put on a two and a half minute timer. I'll start your timer for two minutes, 30 seconds. So what everybody did was they put, it's five minutes, but after two minutes, they took off the front part because we don't want the brow to be um, 
super strong and blocky in the front. So, while this is kind of sitting, let's talk about it. I like that it's already two liquids that you just have to mix and then that's it. Usually with the like Ardell one or the Godfrey one, you have to open a little capsule, you have to put it in, then you put the developer and then you mix it, then you put it on, which is fine and all, but then I have to use only half of the capsule, keep it, and that's kind of annoying. So, this is just two liquids, we put on, we mixed, and I'm gonna clean this. And save it for next time. That's pretty simple. Like, shoot, if this is all I need to do and my eyebrows are like dark, I'm all right with that. So we're waiting. I'm gonna just take a peek over here and if I need to clean anything up, I will clean it up. You could do like Vaseline if you wanted. Okay. I hope this comes out good. I did put false lashes on. This video is probably gonna come after this one. Um, got the ones from Ardell. Testing those out to see how they work. They're actually really comfortable because it's not like against your skin, it's on the actual hair, but you can't put it on the waterline. So I'm gonna speed this time up. Alexa, two and a half minute timer. Two minutes and 30 seconds, starting now. So. We're gonna wipe the front off because we want like um, an ombre kind of effect. Shoot, I went too, I went too rounded in the front for this one. <laughs> ah! This one is actually better than the other one. The good thing is that this eyebrow, the hairs actually grow straight versus this one that usually needs a little bit of help. So, I have two and a half minutes left. And then I'll go wash. That's soap. That's soap. I'm gonna wash my face. So, I'm gonna probably fast forward this to when this is done. And yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm going to come back, wash this off, and then, all right, washed off. What do we think? I think it did a good job. Um, I think next time what I would do is maybe get a thinner spoolie to put it on. Um, but it's it worked in five minutes. I feel like it stained the skin nice. My eyebrows actually look a little bit more full. And I think the color match was pretty good. So uh, it's definitely worth trying out. If you're somebody that tints their brows at home, try this one, give it a shot. It's definitely more affordable and I'll have it linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.